just to prove a point, here we have a dynamo that uh, the rotation is this way. So just to prove that it does work, to connect it to a battery here. It doesn't matter which way that these go because it will always rotate in the same direction. And I don't know whether you can see here. it rotates opposite to the direction of rotation when it's charging. Just to prove a point I will swap the leads over again and still and still it's rotating in the opposite direction. Swap them again and once again rotating in the opposite direction to the direction it charges in. Now we go over to the polisher because it's the easiest way to spin it up and turn the polisher on. This is the direction of rotation so I'm going on to there and I will connect these to basically a light bulb over here. Now this is in the direction it charges in and as you can see the light bulb comes on. I disconnect them and I now swap the coil, the field coil wires over so that it will spin in the opposite direction. In other words it will spin in the direction that it charges in. So you go to the field coil wires off and put that one to it. And screw him down. And we can get the screw in. That's now tightened up and now the field coil has been reversed. So if we look at this now, we connect one to there, one to the other, and it now rotates in the same direction as it's supposed to charge in. I can swap them over just to prove again that it does the same. Now I come to hold it up to the polisher. Turn the polisher on. Connect the wires up. And this is in the direction that it charges in. And as you can see, the bulb does nothing. However, if I turn this round now and go that way, it charges, which actually blown the bulb now. But that is going in the opposite direction to which it rotates in when it's being charged. This has hopefully just proved the point.